Hey what's good guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our wonderful hobby this is the daily dose and for today's video as promised we'll be doing a review of this beautiful Golf Land Rover Defender 110 so this is quite a recent release from Mini GT and again it features one of my favorite liveries of all time the Golf livery I just love the Golf colors Right here it is bright and uh, they look good together so this right here is a USA exclusive uh, USA exclusive right here meaning uh, this packaging because in Asia we also have this release but in Asia we typically have the cars just inside the box but for our US uh, consumers uh, they have it in like this blister packaging and of course with the box so it will be easier to uh, store this one once you open this uh, product anyway here's the back right here just some info about the car yeah, you can just pause this one if you'd like so some features right here metal body and chassis detailed under chassis soft rubber uh, side mirrors and rubber tires oh my camera is not focusing really well so anyways <laughs> Yeah, you guys can just pause this one right there so yeah M MJ toys Miho exclusive what else? a lot of info also so here you go we will open this one let's take a look at this car the Land Rover Defender 110 probably one of my uh, favorite if not my favorite uh, mini GT uh, castings of all time I know probably their most famous casting is the R35 they do have tons of it but I have to say for my liking it would be this Land Rover Defender 110 casting from Mini GC so here you go here is the box pretty new style of packaging right here I like this glossy part of the box with this other a side right here like in uh, matte gray different textures that is really cool and just beautiful artwork right there also it says mini gt on this side got some uh info on their social media pages social media accounts you can pause this one if you'd like also at the back right here so this product is for ages 14 and above and uh, some more gibberish stuff anyways here's what's more important the car itself look at how awesome this is look at this golf livery uh, Land Rover Defender 110 again rubber tires look at the tires it has threaded tires I just love mini GT cars love the orange steelies right there just a beautiful detailed steelies golf right here I don't know if there was there's something wrong with the paint but you can just see that one but well, that's okay yeah beautiful baby blue color uh, the side mirror again is soft rubber they say it is to prevent the side mirrors from breaking but again just be careful with this just that reflective sticker right there Our older mini GT cars didn't have this one so I'm pretty happy that the newer uh, cars have the uh, reflective stickers already in the side mirrors adds a little bit more details to the car to be honest so here's the front of the car so it has uh, plastic headlights I kind of like that one and what's good is you don't see the peg uh, holes right there so that's pretty cool uh, signal lights are, these are signal lights right these are painted uh, Land Rover emblem right there a detailed golf livery not golf livery the golf logo on the hood also right there got the snorkel which is also a 
like soft plastic like rubber material also so that's pretty neat got the roof rack the roof rack is hard plastic just like their uh, previous uh, Land Rover Defenders and also you got tons of accessories right there although these are non removable so that is really cool I know there's other brands out there of the Land Rover Defender 110 casting that has removable accessories but yeah this is Mini GT you got the ladder which is also hard oh not hard plastic it is soft also so same material as the side mirror and the snorkel so we got the reserve tire which also has rubber tires so that is really cool you see the uh, details also right there yeah check that one out just a really beautiful car this is a left-hand drive this comes in like left hand drive variant and the right hand drive variant i went for the left hand drive variant uh, with my land rover defender 110 golf so the base is metal so it is not riveted the base is just held by screw so you can actually swap wheels with this with uh, cars uh, with the same like axle width yeah, if, I don't know if what are the cars from Mini GZ that have the same uh, length of axle, but anyway, it's really a beautiful car here. Uh, some collectors say they don't like how Mini GT cars roll. Uh, yep, they are not as smooth as like the Hot Wheels uh, Premium if you compare it by price. They are not yeah, as smooth as the Hot Wheels Premium cars, but at least we got rolling wheels on this, unlike other premium brands. So I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest, even though they are not as smooth as the Hot Wheels Premium cars. But of course, Mini GT cars, way better. But here you go, look at how cool this one is. No opening parts for this though I wish in the future they would add opening parts in their cars that would just really be sick but their upcoming Kaido house and uh, Yakado house collaboration does have opening parts but their other cars yeah they don't have opening parts so let's hope in the near future they would add more opening parts to their I mean opening parts to more of their cars so that would mean brand new tooling but I think that would be awesome right even just a slight increase in price would be okay but anyways what a cool car right who likes this one who already has this one you can leave a comment down below let me know if you like this one and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this unboxing and review of the mini GT Land Rover Defender defender golf uh, if you did please like the video please subscribe to the channel also click the bell icon so you guys won't miss my daily uploads and i'll be seeing you on our next episode bye bye guys peace out have a great day thank you again guys for watching